Hi, it's Deanne Barrett here. Welcome to Teen Wisdom Tuesday. Here's the question. Is your teen wearing you down? This happens so often. Teens have a lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of um, learning to do, but one of the things that they have picked up along the way is that if they can badger someone enough, eventually that person will crack and they'll get what they want. Now, not every teen uses this strategy, but this is part of human nature, especially at the teenage stage. Our teens, for the most part, have a low skill level, but high desire. And that gap between their skill level, which is low, and their desire, which is so high, is frustration. And so what do they do in that zone of frustration? They go after their parents, who are the ones who have given them lots of things in their life, because we, we do, we give them clothing, shelter, a phone, a computer, and a lot of that is necessary, but they look to us as the people in their life who will give them what they need and what they want. And so I want you to just realize that this is really natural for teens to look to you, their parents and caregivers, to give them what they want. The other thing that is so common in this teenage stage is that they feel so much. They feel really strongly. And when all of that emotion is too much for them to handle, they need to offload it somewhere. Where's the safest place to offload all that emotion? On their parents, often on mom. And so as a mom or a parent, if you are feeling this wave of your kid's emotion, they're wanting coming at you and they're badgering you to get what they want, whether that's wanting a motorcycle, wanting a new iPad, wanting a later curfew, wanting to go to a party on the weekend, whatever the thing is that they are wanting, they badger, 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 badger. And sometimes they ramp up what they say will happen. Well, if you don't do this, then I'm gonna do this. And it can get into really uncomfortable territory. The thing to remember is that they are in this really uncomfortable place of not being able to get what they want, really wanting it. So the question as a parent is, how do you help them in that gap? Just giving them what they want doesn't help them learn the skills they need to get there. So give some thought to what skills do they need to be able to have what they want? Do they need to show more responsibility? Do they need to learn how to save money? Do they need to take a course to be able to handle it responsibly? So what are some of those things that can build their skill? Do they need to learn to ask for it differently? Do they need to show a little bit of having done the research or being responsible about it before they get what they're asking for? Those are the key questions to ask in this space. And just reading back to your teen, I hear you, you really want this. And I want you to know how you can get what you want in your life. And in order to do that, there are some things you have to be able to do to get things that you want. And so let's work on that together. So you're validating the feelings that they have, you're acknowledging what they really want, but also stepping into that uncomfortable place with them, which is the place where they need to build their skills. I just had this past week a friend of mine who's 15 contact me. She said, Deanne, you need to teach a course on how to uh, help parents to care for their teens and not coddle them. And I said, okay, what does that look like? Caring for them versus coddling them. And she said, you know, some of my friends are given everything they want and that actually doesn't make them happy. It just teaches them that it's easy to get what they want. And she said, I have to earn some of the things that I want, like going to the mall and buying clothes, for example. She said, I have to earn my own money and then buy my own clothes and choose which ones I want. And that makes having those clothes mean a lot more to me because I was able to work at it myself. 
and sometimes it's frustrating and I'll talk to my mom about it, um, but those clothes mean a lot more to me. And my friend, she'll just get whatever she wants at the mall, her parents will pay for it, and she doesn't really appreciate it and she's always complaining that she doesn't have things to wear that she likes. And I've heard this over and over again from teens themselves, which I find incredible because um, when teens notice that in their friends and they can say, this has made a difference to me, that I've learned how to work through that uncomfortable place rather than just being given everything, it makes a big difference and it models for them how they can learn to meet their own needs, which at the end of the day is our role as parents. How can we help our teens and our children learn how to meet their own needs? That's the question because we won't always be there to do it for them. And there will come a stage where as parents, we will be aging and we may need our children to help us meet our own needs. So if that isn't um, powerful enough to help you see how your role is to help your teens meet their own needs, um, that's it, that's the job. But sometimes it's so easy to get pulled into the drama, pulled into their wanting, just feeling like it would just be easier if I gave it to you because then <laughs> you would stop hassling me. So today, if you can do one thing for yourself, Ask yourself, how can I help my teen to be in this uncomfortable place of wanting and not getting? What skills do they need to learn to be able to get what they want? And those questions can help you clarify your position in relation to your teen who is wanting, wanting, wanting. Okay, I would love to hear from you. What was the biggest aha moment you got from this video? Post it in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. Until next week, be well.